Are you looking to upgrade the audio on your content? Now keep watching this video because we're going to do an unboxing and a review of this HyperX Quadcast microphone. We're going to check it out and see if it lives up to the hype. So welcome to Bill and Tech. This channel is all about doing product and tech reviews. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. In this video, I'm going to split it into three parts. Part one is going to be the unboxing, part two will be the setup, and part three will be the review of the product itself. So when you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so this is the Quadcast microphone from HyperX. I bought mine from Amazon, cost me £122. It's a USB standalone microphone and they market it mainly for like content creators, streamers, PC gamers. Comes in this nice box, nicely packaged. On the box, it mentions it's compatible with the PC, PS4 Pro and the Mac. So that's the outside of the box, so now get it open and we'll take a look inside. I've really been looking forward to my hands on this microphone and I hope it doesn't disappoint. First impression is really good. I like the black box, it doesn't give you a hint of what's inside. So we've got some literature inside. This is the usual HyperX. Congratulations. Usual literature, nothing very exciting. And of course we've got a usual quick start guide. Not use a big, huge, but thick guide, that's good. Don't want too complicated. Should give you the basic instructions, how to hook it up, and what the different parts of the microphone are. Tells you about different polar patterns, how to hook up your headphones for mic monitoring, and it also shows you a little gain control underneath the microphone. And if you want, you've got the instructions on the back and different languages. You don't need them. So let's now get this open and see what the bad boy looks like. Wow. Well, first thing I noticed was it comes with an actual stand fitted to it already, which is a nice, nice little touch. Looks-wise, I'll give this thing 10 out of 10. It looks absolutely stunning. HyperX really knocked it apart with the design of this microphone. So it comes with a quite a thick USB braided cable. It's also got a little mic mount adapter, which is nice. That'll come in handy if you want to mount it on, say, a boom arm. So like I say, the microphone looks absolutely fabulous. Some nice lovely touch. I like the red on the shock mount. Red on the actual microphone itself. The base has got that black, smooth, matte finish. It looks absolutely premium quality. And it feels, it's got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's got a nice tactile feel to it. The base is nice, solid metal. Feels nice and heavy, so the mic won't topple over. It's got a nice tap to mute feature on the top. Lovely brushed soft top. All in all, it's actually a beautiful piece of kit. Looks fabulous. So that's what I say. You get the ad mic mount adapter with it. You get your USB braided cable and you get the literature and the microphone itself. Don't get a lot in the package. You don't need a lot of packaging. You should be able to just plug the microphone in and it should just work. The mic mount has actually got two screw threads inside it. One is for a 3 8 of an inch and the other one is for 5 8 of an inch. That's just another little example of the little details that set this product apart. Like I say, the microphone isn't too heavy. You don't want that if you're going to mount it on, say, a boom arm. I put some of the specs on the screen just now to like to see how heavy it is and what size it is as well. So that's it. Microphone, mount adapter, USB cable and literature. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump in, get it set up, and I'll show you how easy it is just to get it up and running. On the rear microphone, you'll find your USB connector and your 3.5mm headphone connector. To get your microphone up and running, you take your USB cable, thread it through your hole in your microphone stand, plug it into the USB socket, and if you want, you can plug in a set of headphones. It must have a 3.5mm connector on the end. Plug it into the socket above your USB connector, and then you can use your headphones to monitor your recordings. So that's the microphone all hooked up correctly. All we need to do now is jump into the audio settings in Windows and adjust a few properties to make sure your microphone is set up correctly. So navigate into your settings, go into the sound panel and where it says input, make sure your HyperX Quadcast microphone is shown as your input device. If not, just select it from your drop down box. Next, select the device properties of your input device and make sure the volume is not set to 100. 100 is far too sensitive for the microphone, so you need to drop that down to about 80%. Best thing to do is do a trial and error, do a few recordings, see how it sounds. But I'll suggest go about 80, between 75 and 80%. So that's the unboxing and we've seen how easy it is to hook up to your computer. Now we're going to dive in and take a look at the features of the microphone, see what sets that apart from its competition. 
So the first thing that strikes me about this microphone is the way it looks. I think it's a piece of art. It really is absolutely gorgeous, this thing. The first feature I want to talk about is the tap to mute feature, situated right on top of the microphone. Really, really smart implementation. I really love it. All you need to do is touch the top of the microphone and the microphone is muted. It's nice little features like this that set this microphone apart from its competition. You don't need to go feeling around the back for a switch or slider to move to mute the microphone. Just touch it on the top, the LED goes off and you know it's muted. Touch it back on again, LED comes on, you know the microphone is live. Really smart, really nice implementation. I love it. HyperX also includes a nice shock mount that comes with the microphone. It's got the nice red cord which matches the LED. Really nice touch. And it's again, it's got the same black matte brushed metal finish. Really, really quite smart, quite striking. Below the shock mount, you've also got the nice silver HyperX logo. Really contrasts well with the black matte finish of the microphone itself. I love the fact that it also comes with a nice desk stand. Again, it matches the microphone. It's like a brushed matte finished black metal. Really a nice weight to it as well. Really a nice premium feel. So even though the microphone does come with a nice desk stand, if you prefer, you can mount the microphone onto a boom arm. Because the microphone only weighs 627 grams, you don't need a heavy duty boom arm to support the microphone. HyperX have also included a little mic mounting adapter in the kit, so you don't need to buy any extras. Right at the bottom of the microphone, we have the gain control. Now the gain control moves very easily, which can be a good thing, but sometimes it can be a bad thing. You might knock it unintentionally and then adjust your gain control without you actually knowing it. Because you've watched the video this far, I'm going to give you a little bonus tip. So my tip is, once you're happy with the recording levels, put some tape on your gain control. This will stop the gain control from moving and it will lock in your recording levels. The gain control doesn't have a scale in it like 0 to 100. It's got 5 little dots, each increasing in size from right to left. I found that the best recording level is roughly around the second dot from the right. This seems to be the general consensus as well. The gain control is probably one of the only things that I would say could be improved on this microphone. It'd be nice if they added some feature where you could lock the gain control in place to stop it being moved by accident. If we spin the microphone around, we can see the input for the USB cable, and above that, we've got the input for the 3.5mm headphone jack, where you can put in a set of headphones and monitor your audio. And above that, we've got a little switch, which lets you switch between the four polar patterns. You've got stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional. I think by far the most popular pattern that people will use is your cardioid. The cardioid pattern is a pattern that most streamers use when they're talking directly into the microphone. And I think 99% of people will be using that. But it's nice to have these other features where you can just quickly change it if you're doing, say, like an interview or you want to capture audio behind the microphone. That's another nice feature. The microphone also comes with its own built-in pop filter. It helps to smooth out some of those percussive noises. Now, you can use your own pop filter, but it's nice that it's built in. You don't need any extra peripherals on your desk. The microphone is also marketed as being multi-platform and multi-program compatible. So basically you can use it streaming on the PC, PS4 and Mac. The microphone is compatible with most major software including OBS Studio and XSplit. Okay, so this microphone might be loaded with a ton of neat features, but crucially, how does it sound? Well, to give an idea of that, what I've done is I've recorded all the audio just using this microphone alone. I've not done any post-processing on the audio. I want to let you hear the audio sounds like raw, unedited. One of the many features of this microphone is that it comes with four polar patterns. It's got the cardioid, stereo, bi-directional and omnidirectional polar patterns. I use the cardioid polar pattern 99% of the time when I'm talking directly to the microphone. The stereo will pick up audio from the left and right. Your bi-directional picks up audio from the front of the microphone and the rear of the microphone. And your omnidirectional polar pattern will pick up audio from all around the microphone. I think 99% of the people will use, just use the cardioid polar pattern when you're talking directly to the microphones. And that's the one that streamers use. Overall, I think this microphone's got a really nice balance of bass, it's not too sharp in vocals, nice, a nice super clean sound I think, and definitely a nice sound for the price point. I'd be interested to know what you think of the sound quality, because let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, so that does it for the HyperX Quadcast microphone. This microphone seems really popular at the moment, especially with PC gamers and streamers. This microphone comes packed with a ton of cool features which you don't find in a lot of our microphones, so you could say it's really the complete package. And I think for the price, this microphone is really quite hard to beat. I think you can find this microphone on Amazon for about £122 at the moment. I'll leave a link for that down below. So that's it guys. Hope this review has helped you out. Any questions at all, just put them in the comments section down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links for those are down below as well. And if you liked the video, hit the like subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.